I also like how his name is BJ. I bet there's so many jokes about that. You hide on that roof and you can ride it all the way into Eisenbeck prison. I go down and destroy the guard. And maybe he won't see you. Well, that's ominous. That's really ominous. This is true of the Nazis. They're not lacking in vanity. No, they're not. Alright, sneak into the prison transport. So I'm supposed to sneak into that. Okay. Alright. Do it. I love how I'm putting myself in prison. That seems like a great idea. BJ always comes up with the best plans. How about you sneak into their most secure secret prison with no weapons? And then fight your way out. What is this? Curious gadget. Useless without a battery. Without a battery? Okay. About forgetting so much, basically skipping giant chunks of his life. Yeah, you can't. Uh, that sounds about right. And given given the last game, I bet she dies because everyone BJ loves in the last game ends up dying. All right, so the battery's low, but we can. Uh, this looks like a map we probably want. Actually, let's let's read the tutorial for this. Okay, laser cutter, a tool for cutting through thin wire fences. Chains and other small steel objects. Cut an opening in a fence to move the target right up with the design. Yeah, okay, we got that. But basically just, we can cut through small fences. Maybe there's a place to, so we took the battery out of this to put in here, but we can recharge the battery somewhere. This is such an amazing game. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. So far, I don't think, I mean, we're not too far into it, I don't think, but. My hope is that the next one is like this as well, really. Okay. Oh, okay, so this charges it. Nice, that's cool. You know what I should have done? I'm gonna cut a, I'm gonna cut a triangle. Here we go. It's beautiful. Oh, let me through. All right, let's. I'm getting. <laughs> All right. We just have this in our. I wonder if we can actually kill people with this. Have you seen a lot of stuff on the new game, Max? What do you think about it? On the one coming out in October, or November. September? I don't remember what comes out. Oh. I like there should be stuff up here. It's kind of a weird... Oh, maybe we can jump across to this. I'm hyped, I guess. Yeah. Nice. Let's try jumping across. Yeah, that worked. Alright. I'm down. It looks it's it looks kind of cool because it's gonna be like set in the U.S. At pre post invasion, which seems really interesting. Maybe we need to go in back here to get the true sneak on. All right. So. There... Don't turn around. Don't turn around. There we go. Ooh, that was kind of a kind of a brutal one. 
But this doesn't work on people, it looks like. Hit. No, 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 no. Some reason a lot easier than la than the last game that would have definitely alerted the guy in the last game mm. let's see if we can, there's a way to go in through here I hear a dog Really dark with all members of resistance being aware that they're only a fish and that that just jumped into the air from the river that is doomed to fall back into it and that all the resistance is just meaningless yeah that may, i mean that makes sense and it seems like the next game is kind of building on that i don't obviously i haven't completed this game and i've only seen short commercials from the last one or from the next one but it seems like He's back in the U.S. and and things seem just as hopeless from all the trailers I've watched. Oh, wrong way. All right, want to make sure we we grab all the loot though. When does it come out? Do you remember the date? I think it's like October or something, maybe. Maybe November actually. Oh, okay, so it does work on humans. That was weird. Oh, I wish we could take its keys. First German lands on the moon. Oh, I love all this, all this counter history stuff. The first German lands on the moon. It was like this in Prey as well. I, I really enjoy like uh, alternate timelines. Berlin, J July 21st, 1951 at 3.56 yesterday afternoon. Astronauts Hans Armstock. <laughs> Very similar to Neil Armstrong. Became the first man to walk on the moon. First contact with the moon's surface was made 30 minutes after Armstrong and his co-pilot, Armstrong Alto, steered... Oh, this is a little, like, um... Shout out to the, to the prequel, this game. Is so much more than a great shooter. Yeah. Which I, I really enjoy overall. Like, the last game was definitely a great shooter, but I felt like some of the story was lacking a bit. But it, it, it was a good prequel to this. It really set up a lot of knowledge. Um, and this game seems like it has a lot more in-depth like exploration into every... Um, a lot more facets of the lore and what's going on in the, in the world. Already, it seems like that. Amargato steered the lunar module to its landing spot in an area known as the Glimmer Bowl. After the landing, the two astronauts began their adventure on the moon by planting the beautiful flag of the Reich. They then started collecting soil and rock samples for further analysis back on Earth. Ooh. That stuff's always fun. Alright, so we can go out this window. Let's check the rest of this area first. I really would like a better weapon. Alright, there's a phone ringing somewhere. Where is it? That sounds important. Wait, oh, let's read this one. Inside the Siberian training grounds. Located near the northern part of the Ural Mountains, not far from the Carisi, the Death Shed, the de <laughs> Death Sheed. The Death's Head Commando training camps are considered to be the toughest in the world. In a series of investigative reports, we revealed how these fierce combatants managed to stay, stay, managed to live through their days in extreme cold temperatures and how it makes them the superior warriors. Okay, nice. Where's this phone? Is it this one? There we go. Nice. Hello? These all nighters. Sie 
This guy's getting so mad. Alright. Oh, I, I thought- I think I saw a... Yeah, there we go. So this is the map. Now we can tell if we missed anything as well. Alright, let's go! Let's do this! <laughs> oh, that's sad. Wait, am I just supposed to- am I still just supposed to sneak onto this thing? Stay to look- I have to stay low and make sure they don't see me. Okay. So I just go behind these guys, probably? Mueller is probably dead. Yep, pretty much. I will probably kill Mueller. Or however you pronounce his name. Or we probably already did kill him. We either will kill him or already killed him. One of the two. Absently, absent mindedly looks at the gun because he's bored with creeping, creeping across a ledge on top of hundreds of people that will probably kill him. Alright. Oh, okay, there it is. Cutscene! You know what? If there's anything in this world worth saving, desolation, tyranny, enemy of endless might. I wonder if I have any friends left standing. Fuzzy! Comes down to it. I'll fight alone. But I promise you this. Friends, if this is where they're keeping you, I will find you and set you free. Hell yeah! You know, one thing I really do like about this game is one, the music is pretty good, and two, those little flashbacks, not, not just flashbacks, but like sections where you hear Mueller talk, oh, not Mueller, Jesus, where you hear BJ talking to himself are quite fun to listen to. Sometimes they're about his childhood in the last game. Sometimes they're about his thoughts on the war and his situation. It really adds a lot of depth to the game. Alright, I would like a gun, please. Shit. This is a big prison. Alright, there's one of those giant things that we killed earlier. I'm guessing we'll get to drive one of those later. I also don't like how it stands you up immediately when you come up out of the top of a ladder. They did that in the last game as well. I think that kind of destroys sneaking a bit. Uh, let's look around here but to make sure we're not missing any loot before we climb up that next ladder. <laughs> it's kind of funny. We can climb all the way out here if we want. So there's one of those things. Hey, they would totally see me up here. I'm gonna type rope walk tight tight rope walk it out. Oh nope. And that thing is just a graphic, not an interactive actable object. Alright. Let's keep going. Or let's check over here. Hmm, I want to go kill them. I 
Alright. Now onward. Ah, uh, finally someone I can kill. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Model unlocked. Prison guard melee. Oh, so we missed one. Interesting. Anya. Nice, Anya. Okay. Like there's an object back here, right behind us, to the right or left. Oh! Nice, we can cut chains with this. Let's check around this area first, just to double check. Looks like we're good. Can we charge the laser cutter right here? Ah, cool. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> nice. Oh, did we grab this guy's weapon? Or did he even have a weapon? No, he just had a... Dang it. Alright. I like how we carry this Nazi knife around. Oh, I hate the ladders in this game. I hate them. Grab myself some tuna real quick. Alright, so it looks like those are sensors, maybe? I mean, they are sensors, but some type of unique sensor. Sectors of Mueller are even better than useless shit-eating garbage Hans that can't even interrogate prisoners should be dismissed. Or, my wife is picking on me yet again. She says that I'm always late and she doesn't get to see me too often. Is she stupid? I'm an officer in that stupid prison. Section's with Mueller. I'm an officer in this stupid prison, and I have to watch her with these countless prisoners. Mother was right, marrying her was a mistake. Are those quotes from Mueller? <laughs> no way, that's so funny, actually. Oh, shit! Jesus, okay. Now you just made them up, but it would be cool to have them in the game. I agree, that would be cool to have in the game. Can I actually kill the guy with this? I guess not. Hmm, these guys suck. These guys are really bad soldiers. I agree, it would be cool to have this in the game. Unless, 
I wasn't really listening to what she said a minute. He said a minute ago. He could have actually said something like that. It sounded like he was. He said something along those lines. Go oh, ahead, buddy. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Chill out. <laughs> For hard mode, these guys sure are a little relaxed. I wonder if we can disable these with this thing. Doesn't look like it. Oh, that's a dude. Alright. And the story about Mueller, who has a middle age crisis and isn't satisfied with anything in his life. <laughs> Which one takes priority? Clearly Mueller. Tell us more about Mueller, please. Actually come down here? Oh that was awful. Oh, there's a guard. <laughs> 